What's going on YouTube and cryptocurrency family? My name is Harry. I'm the crypto vet and I'm so happy that I was up all night because uh, I haven't gone to sleep yet and breaking news we have Elon Musk says that he bought 1.5 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. I'm guessing he took this from the cash reserves of Tesla as an investment so uh, if uh, you like this content like this, you like crypto and you want to make some money, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Uh, if you're not following me already, follow me at XRP Veterinarian on Twitter and links for the Discord and Twitch are down below. Um, but this is absolutely crazy. Uh, Elon Musk has been shilling, you know, potentially Dogecoin. He threw Bitcoin in his bio title on Twitter. And uh, now the day after the Super Bowl, he is saying that if he's officially doing that, um, in my opinion, this is the most bullish thing that we could have here for the crypto space as a whole, not just for Bitcoin. Congratulations to everyone holding Bitcoin. Um, but this is just absolutely great because this means that Tesla shares and their money are just going to go up just as much as uh, Bitcoin. And of course, people are going to be rushing in to get some as they can. Um, just for this video right here, we can see uh, I was just sitting here watching it. I was actually watching it on the four hour and bam, I just saw it start to shoot up about 30, 45 minutes ago. So I got everything set up to make a quick video for you guys. Um, if we move over to coin market cap, um, we'll just hit the refresh here. We can see Bitcoin is already up 12 and a half percent since the release of this news. Um, Ethereum, um, XRP, Cardano, they've all started to go up a little bit as well. Um, it looks like, um, Polkadot and Cardano both have surpassed XRP now as far as total market capitalization. So XRP is now down to the number six spot. Still my favorite cryptocurrency, but you know, it's always been a lagger in space. Uh, moving to the 24 hour um, high ones, we have Elrond Gold it got up to around 175, 180. Uh, Matic Network, Dogecoin, of course, still doing its thing with people pumping it, and our biggest losers are still not far behind, and I imagine they will pick up here soon. Uh, but just looking here on the daily chart, um, we can see that we were kind of forming a little bit of an um, ascending triangle here. Bitcoin has now shot above it and has created a new all-time high, um, roughly around 44 to $44,000. Uh, um, so we just got to see if this can be maintained, but I, you know, this is one of those things where the news has came real fast. I don't see uh, anybody wanting to sell their Bitcoin at this point. I know Binance was already troubled and uh, down. Coinbase, I'm sure, was down yesterday before any of this happened. Um, but if we zoom in here onto the four hour, um, we had some of my, I, this was the buy zone that we came up with on uh, Twitch because we were saying that this would be a good ideal buy zone if we were trying to get in for a long position or anything of the sort We had a little bit of a reverse head and shoulders pattern that was forming. Where's my brush? Uh, just like this with our neckline somewhere in this area and a measured move brought us actually right to our target and look at this beautiful W pattern that formed and then boom we took off um, and then from here we may continue going up or come down to confirm our previous resistance as support before going up again so lots and lots of good things are going to happen this week we've basically set the trend for this week as pretty good now get, get me wrong this is crypto anything can change the fed could say something crazy and everything all goes to shit um, but as we're looking at it right now it's looking like it's going to push very very good so now the next thing is, is how high can we go? Where are we going to go from here? So if we head back here to our daily, we can go ahead and maybe throw a little bit of a fib retracement on here and find out, right? Let me go to my tools. Let's do a trend based fib. We'll come back down here from the bottom. We'll go ahead and start at the top that we had before and throw our fib down to where we were at the bottom. Let me zoom in now. We'll make sure that we are lined up appropriately. And oops, there we go. Make sure this one is where it's supposed to be. So um, right now we can see that we almost touched the 0.5. And where we go from here, I imagine that we will usually get up to around the at least the 0.618.786 in a you know, push to the upside, um, which is going to put us close to a $54,000 Bitcoin at like the upper limit for the first run and at least up to around 50,000 during this pump, in my opinion. Um, we can also go ahead and do some measured moves of the breakout of the triangle that we're in right now. 
And as you can see, it lines up almost precisely with the 786, which is showing that we would be closer to around a $54,500 Bitcoin. So uh, let's see how this plays out. Um, this is said, great news, especially for anybody who's been investing over time, like everybody here has, including um, including me. If we just take a quick look at Ethereum, Ethereum has done two little things. It had a little head and shoulders pattern right here which we traded on Bybit, made some gains, and then again, it did the exact opposite here. So um, we were making these trades on Bybit and we were doing them live on stream. So if you wanna learn how to trade and try to do some minimal risk stuff, you know, please let me know. Um, we can see here that our trade on Bybit right now is currently up $374 and our trade on XRP is up $177. And you can see my realized gain is still waiting because it's not your money till you take profits. But um, these are trades that we set up last night um, looking for good buy in points so that way we could trade this to the upside. So um, we have almost met the target of this breakout here, but this would be a good place to take some profits um, or you can wait for confirmation and just let it ride. But I would at least adjust your stop loss up to guarantee profits. Um, we we're also looking at Dogecoin and Dogecoin is also starting to make a little pump. Um, I have my limit orders set for a dime around nine and a half on Robinhood as well as on Kraken um, just to make that money. Uh, I think that you know enough people want to buy in. They love the doggy coin so there's definitely a chance that we could see this pump up but again you guys know my stance on um, Dogecoin, I don't think it's something that is sustainable at these high, high prices, you know, but as time goes on, that stabilized price point may be at a dime. Um, but I said this one's with caution just because the, the way the protocol works, it's constantly making more Doge to pay the validators. Thus, it's an inflationary currency. So if you're waiting for Doge to be worth something like Bitcoin, like if you buy 20,000 of this in, in 10 years, you're going to be Bitcoin rich. Um, it's a lot less unlikely, but, you know, Mark, or so market cap has nothing to do with what the actual price is, if you really think about it, because say you buy whatever somebody's willing to buy it at times circulating supply is market cap. So if I have two Gatorades and one person's willing to pay $100 for it and one person's only willing to pay $3 like it, it's normal value, it's market cap for two Gatorades is $103. So, you know, it's not actually what the price is, but somebody was a little more desperate and willing to pay for it. So um, just keep that in mind and, you know, make sure you always take profits, especially on something as volatile as like Dogecoin. And then last here for XRP, XRP is looking like it is wanting to uh, just start to moon up to the upside. We have, you know, no news as of now, except for that on the 22nd of February, um, XRP will meet a ripple will meet on behalf of you know their whole case they're going to present their documents and do all of their stuff and um that's going to set up the next meeting here um but if you ask any lawyer that's representing uh or not representing but that knows a lot about the case and has gone over it um specifically there's a guy on youtube named legal briefs he goes over it like crazy so i'll leave a link to his channel below but if you want to learn a lot about the actual lawsuit part about xrp and all that he can explain it way better since i'm not a lawyer i'm a veterinarian um you know he would be the place to get your insights on what you think the case will go from here but uh, xrp has just been coiling up coiling up and you know this could be the momentum needed to see it explode to the upside and xrp is completely undervalued in my opinion and it is being highly suppressed as far as where it should be in this market. Ethereum has already now hit new all-time highs compared to before. XRP lags slightly behind it. XRP's all-time high is over $3 and we're sitting at $0.43. Cents. So, you know, this is not financial advice, just a doctor slash idiot. But um, I'm going to be putting a lot of my eggs into this basket hoping to make some profits. Now, don't get me wrong. it's not. I'm not all in on XRP. I have lots of other cryptos, including Ethereum and some Bitcoin, um, Cardano, VeChain, a whole list of them. But so this one is one of the ones that I think can really give you those quick gains that you would be looking for and go from there. So um, that is going to do it for this video. Um, again, if you like this stuff, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, I'm trying to bring this information to as many people as I can. Um, and as always, I will be streaming here later today and we'll be doing some more trades and we'll see what we can do to 
to keep making a little bit of extra money here on the side. All right. So uh, you guys take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one.